Okay, you should be able to hear me now. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, <laughs> welcome back to Games Revealed. I'm James and Nelson the Brink, and we are one community. I'm going to repeat this all over again. We are going to be talking about Dead Space 2 Remake and everything that... <sighs> If it's being canceled, if it's not being canceled, uh, whatnot, who knows? But we're going to speculate about it, have some fun with it. Hopefully have some fun with it because that's something I want. Uh, else I'll be very angry. And then there's various other things of news to talk about, including ROG Ally and all that jazz. So as always, let's welcome people in and then we'll get into the uh, into the depths of it all. And then towards the end, I'll give my updates, of course, that I always do. Okay. Let's see here. Welcome, welcome. Dak Hasmith for you. Uh, Necrosphere, hey, I'll be attending. I'm glad to have you, man. Glad that you're here. Rachie, welcome, welcome, welcome. Wolf, welcome. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'll, I'll save announcements or, you know, kind of like stuff like that towards the end. I don't want to bore you guys. It's nothing too important. So, and I'm gonna fix my lighting. It it casts a shadow, <laughs> so I'm like have to wear my hat up high or something like that. It, it's it's a whole thing. I still don't have shelves or anything like that. Um, I don't know. I'm streaming in this room, but I might still do other recordings down in the basement. Welcome, welcome, cool sir. Bah humbug. <laughs> okay, how are you guys doing this week? You guys doing good? Anything good happen to you? Anything? Uh, game related that you're enjoying anything not game related you're in enjoying and more than welcome to throw that into chat let's go on over to this stuff one of these days I'll organize this into uh, into something different than what this is okay let's see here okay so let's start out with the big news item for me, because Dead Space 2, um, and then we're going to get into all the other items, including some hardware stuff that I haven't gotten into in a little bit, because uh, I've been focused on games more than hardware a little bit more lately, but, you know, I want to balance it out. Um, Rachy, this week was just indie games. Hey, nothing wrong with indie games, though. I mean, technically, the game I'm making is indie, even though it's not like their traditional 2D game or 3D scroller have a game okay I need my water here because yeah okay EA shuts down Dead Space 2 remake rumors no validity to the story update so there's no validity but the rumor mill does turn and we don't know what truly is going to happen dead they, they killed the Dead Space franchise after Dead Space 3 and EA really just royally screwed them over so a little bit of context here I mean, give you guys some context. And I think that this story is important for even if you don't like Dead Space. So big publishers like EA, they will, um, and this is very business-esque. And this is the problem with mixing business slash money with, uh, <clears throat> with video games and creativity. It needs to be done to a scale because honestly, uh, listening to developers, and I want to interview more developers in the future, but listening to developers, it's more and more apparent that um, if you're a tr in a AAA studio, uh, depending on who you are and depending on the project and who's managing and everything like that, you're not, you still have to do overtime, but it's not as required depending on what project it is. Um, and you have more time that you can take off all that where indie games, uh, depending on how it's managed, could always be in overturn. Like it's, it's just it's out of control. But yeah. Um, besides the point, not really. But we're gonna let's get back over to the story. Um, welcome, welcome, uh, Chad, Cat, and Bebe. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, Dead Space One, huge success for EA. Dead Space Two was even bigger. So with Dead Space 3, EA wanted to get their hands into it to make sure that it's the best that there can be. Because, you know, you're a little bit more hands-off with Dead Space 1, a little bit more hands-off with Dead Space 2. And then you decide, you know what? You know what will make this game so much better, so much more successful? Yes, uh, we need to be involved now because we're amazing. We're gods amongst men, we are the EA executives or middle management, one or the other. Middle management can always kill stuff too. So, um, 
the godlike people at EA decided that they needed to get their hands in on Dead Space 3. So they wanted to be more action-oriented, less scary. They added the co-op, a lot of um, buzz things that were going on. And I actually like the co-op. I actually wish the Dead Space series had more co-op, partially because I play this game with friends all the time in the sense of we're in the same room and we can do challenges. It'd be fun to do them together more. But they didn't quite do it right with Dead Space 3. Um, and they should have focused it more on a Dead Space 3 co-op where the second, third, they, they could have just had the second person not really do anything. Um, you're just kind of the same person, but you, you're you not. So <clears throat> honestly, they, they could have played it off with the figmentation, like the figment of your imagination. You're seeing another person there, but it's not really, it's, it's just you mirrored over there because you're going crazy. I think that could have been a good way to do that. Um, but Dead Space 3 tanked technically it was still a success it still made money it just didn't make what they wanted and they dumped i believe more money than it took to develop the game they spent i believe between 100 and 200 million dollars on dead space 3 marketing which is just ridiculous so a little bit of a context for people um or for for marketing and all that like <laughs> I think it's kind of come to this point where people are realizing this. If you have a cult classic game, which Dead Space is, meaning it's, it's it, and, do, and cult classics will grow, like their community grows over time. It's very niche and it's not gonna be a battlefield or like a mega community, but what they are is they're very committed and they will buy stuff as long as you make what they want or close to what they want, which we get into talks of uh, fandoms in the past and other podcast episodes and stuff like that. <clears throat> But as long as you uh, fulfill the, the, their gross desires, if you want, if you may, uh, and I'm sure you guys all here, I want to know what fandom, what fandom are you a part of? What niche game? What cult classic game are, is your favorite chat? I want to know. Please let me know in the chat. Um, but what... <laughs> If you don't appease them, one, and then two, you overspend expecting it to be a mega hit um, with a cult following, it just doesn't usually happen. It can, but it doesn't usually. It's not like Dead Space's um, Halo, but why not still make money off this? This is what I don't understand with EA and some other uh, things is why don't you curtail your budget down to and allow for a very efficient small-esque team to continue releasing games or working on the the universe and you'll make a lot more back in money like you'll 10x you don't need to do this whole throw everything and the money into the bat and, and the baby in the bathwater and all that in, into the budget or especially marketing when it was already pretty popular but i don't need to dive, dive any further into this dead space one six one so they like did they almost killed the IP. It was a surprise that Dead Space 1 came back and that they decided to go with, um, <clears throat> that they decided to um, make a Dead Space 1 remake, right? Because I, I was just surprised. Maybe it's because they keep on to the IP, whatnot. Dead Space 1 remake is on, honestly probably in my top three favorite games. Um, and I kind of see it as replacing Dead Space 1 in some ways. I still enjoy Dead Space 1. I still think it's a great game. But Dead Space One, the remake, is just a it's just a more polished version that's been enhanced, right? That's all I see it as because they were really true to the original, which is good. They changed things that needed to change and, and didn't with everything else. So Dead Space Two remake was rumored to be canceled, and I think this is all important because with EA's track record, this could be still be true. Like it says, no validity here in the IGN. Um, story but it still could be valid because ea has a reputation for destroying projects so ea has denied reports that a dead space 2 remake was in development before being canceled with a spokesperson telling ign we don't normally comment on rumors but there is no validity to this story yeah that still doesn't help me out at all i i but here's the thing um i i i with this, I don't think it's canceled. There's the chance. I think there's like a 10% chance they will cancel this before Dead Space 2 re uh, remake hits the end. But honestly, um, 
because Dead Space 1's remake was decently enough successful, meaning they, they didn't do what they did before with Dead Space 3, and the hint at a continuation and a rebooting of the series, they even talk about this in devlogs, I believe, that I would be shocked if Dead Space 2, like, I, I really do think there's 90% chance Dead Space 2 remake is in the works right now. Even if they say they're not, they already have the basis for it. Dead Space 1 is already established with the engine and everything. All they have to do is um, port that over. And in a sense, they can use reuse some of the assets, which I believe they reused in between Dead Space 1 and 2. Um, 2, what became a little bit more friendlier for consoles, I think is one of the things, the difference between 1 and 2. It was a little bit more actiony, but it had a good balance. It was the only, it was the first game probably that I had ever beaten and went through and beat again, one after another. I don't normally do that with games. Uh, Dead Space One remake was also like that. I played it three times streaming last year. If you guys got sick of me streaming last year, doing that on my the Brink channel, so I know this is a long way around and everything. Dead Space 2, I think it's still going to happen. And this is just a rumor. And I just wanted to talk about this because I love Dead Space. Now, let's see what chat has to say. Chat, that cat Smith for you. I was writing a book and lost track of time. Hey, no problem. What's your book and what's it about? What's your book title? What's it about? Uh, Necrosphere is welcoming people. Good, good, good. Um, Rachie, Obsidian is a good example of multitasking. Agreed. Obsidian and a lot of dev studios can multitask and they split off and they they can and here's the thing efficiency wise a studio should probably be working on two titles at a time because they have concept artists instead of laying people if you want to be efficient and the game stu the game industry is not efficient anyways with all the layoffs and you see layoffs but that's usually because well they're done with the project they'll either get laid off or taken to another uh, team sometimes it's just easier to lay off and rehire for the position I know it's it's very inefficient actually and costs a lot of money but and it's very not good for the en like engineer or worker because uh you know having job security is important and i know that especially from last year how important that can affect you uh, how it can affect your psyche but studios can should be able to work on two to three to studio um titles at a time depending on how they do it the concept artists uh game designers uh, game developers, um, story developer quests, all that stuff. Like a lot of those could be split off into two because uh, you're not going to be all working on it at the same time. Usually within its flow, it's a little waterfally, if you know what development uh, styles are uh, or development uh, types there are, whatever that is called. Apparently, I don't. Uh, that Catsma three is it just me or is the audio glitching out? Oh, is it not? Um, Okay, it was just you. Okay, good, good, good. Um, I did get a new mic for here, and I have my podcast studio that I'm setting up. Okay, cool, sir. Because it's expensive, they own the IP, but a whole lot of people who worked on the original still got got to get paid, and they want a raise. Well, it's it's not because okay, all of them have made so every Dead Space has made money. This is how business works. They're gonna compare it to other things, and I get it, but I honestly business only has so much I think it only should be involved so much inside of game development all that um, but they all got everyone got paid raises everything like it was it was greed thing EA has been known to be a little greedy and to be hands-on but um, they own the IP yes they own the IP but if they don't use the IP cool sir they lose the IP access after a while um, and so they have to use the IP. Um, does this, uh, does it, I, I switched internets. It says everything's good for me. So it might be YouTube again, man. I did drop some frames. Let's see here if I can, I swap. Okay. One of the things that was a little late for today, like a minute or two was I swapped on my Wi-Fi. Um, everything seems to be good. Maybe it was earlier on. It was bad, but I should be good now. But um, I'm in the middle of reworking my internet and everything because I'm like on the other end of my Wi-Fi, and I upgraded the Wi-Fi six E. So, yeah, it, it has. So uh, I'm I'm sorry. You might need to pause it and buffer it, and so that means uh, that you won't you know, be able to be on the uh, up on chat and all that. Um, 
Okay, so... That cast with few. My book is um, HTT. I don't know what HTYD is fan fiction. What that is from several other fan fiction books I have read. I haven't come across a good name for it though. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, yeah. Honestly, you're gonna have to give me the full name. I don't know that abbreviation, but I'm not very good with a lot of abbreviations unless it's uh, very common. Uh, okay, okay. So we can move on from this topic. It's just Dead Space 2 is not canceled. It's most likely going to happen. It, oh, How to Train Your Dragon. Oh, that's right, that Cat, Cat Smith for you. You were doing How to Train Your Dragon stuff. That's cool. That's cool. Um, you should keep us updated. So, yeah, Dead Space 2, I think it's going to happen. I think they made enough money, and they, um, as a passion project, and I think they, I think they made plenty of money. I don't know how. Let's see how many. Let's, let's do a, a little bit of Dead Space One remake. Make copies sold. We'll see if they actually release their information. Let's see how many copies were sold. I got hyped after seeing the remake sold two million copies that quick, but after the complete silence, every site says the same thing: sold two million in X days. So, in a year's period, I think we could safely say they sold three to four million. Now, that's a lot. So, just as a concept, two million uh, sold. So let's do that times um let's be let's be conservative with this and do, do do 55 just to take into account some people that paid full some people some people paid uh with a discount because you can with like I, if let's say a green man gaming or whatever like within the first few days um that's 110 million dollars earned um i don't know how much they let's see how much did dead space your email like Take to make. Let's see. No, hold up. Hey, maybe it didn't do it as uh, underperformed heavily. Expect a five mail in sales only. Yeah, see that, and that's where they. F so they made under five, like they made under three or four hundred million, which is ridiculous. Which is a ridiculous number. Um, even with the Dead Space remake, what it is, if they spent over, I would say if they spent over thirty million dollars in development of Dead Space One remake, they they really screwed up. Albeit it's very pretty and everything, but they already had a huge blueprint. It wasn't like they were recreating anything. Um, so this is, like I said, after fees and everything else, because you have to remember there's taxes, there's uh, fees from Steam and everything. You can expect this to be almost halved of what the actual take home is. So uh, even within the first, like, I don't, I don't know how much they made or how much they put into it. Um, I don't think it tanked though. I bet you they. I, I bet you it sold fine, but yeah, it's definitely not the success that they would want. Um, Rachi, the thirty percent commission should be illegal. Ten to fifteen should be standard. Agreed. Honestly, it needs to be regulated. Uh, Europe and America needs to get into regulating um, stores that are monopolies. And a monopoly would be how many cells come from it. If ninety percent of the cells come from that store, then it's a monopoly, in my opinion. It needs to be regulated and cap it. We cap APR. We, we, we cap a lot of different things. As, like some people want to say freedom and all that, whatever you want to say. When it comes to financial stuff, certain things that are very predatory, they do cap. And it's not like Steam needs 30%. They're doing way more. Like I don't even know what they do with their money at this point. They make that much money. Um, uh, that's why I like Epic. Honestly, I like Epic because it's just, it's really hard for them to get into it. Um, 
but they are fighting the fight to lower all these fees. I mean, they're, they're also benefiting it from it too, but they are trying to lower the fees because Android and Google also do 30%. Uh, Steam does less now, but it's, it's in the favor of like big developers, which is crazy. Um, Rachi, I want 10% commission on Steam and let him have the monopoly. Um, Oh, I don't, the thing is, it's meant to be, um, it's a predatory thing, meaning I don't care. I mean, the monop I don't want monopolies. No one, no one should want a monopoly. That's when things start to get poor. You want, always want a competitor. Um, and with Steam, that's why Epic Games is important to come into play. And, and honestly, we should be using Epic Games more. I know it's hard. And Epic had to do just pull the stupid stunt of not like if they were just playing nice with the Steam Deck, they would be doing a little bit better. They'd be doing better if they had their own Steam Deck kind of little uh, in, um, installation or whatnot. But meaning like a a program to install to make their games easier. That's first party, but um, yeah. Uh, Swagger, I hate EA. I lost my old email and now I can't play any EA games on my Xbox. Customer service sucks. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. EA is not. I, that's why I, I don't like buying. Like I bought Dead Space Two from EA, and then I used it to transfer over. And then they, because they don't support it anymore, I have to buy it again on Steam. Because or I have to use a crack to play Dead Space 2 that I bought, and I even ported back over to Steam because their EA space, when they, they, they stopped supporting at least the original one that it was working on. So I kind of agree. Like, I don't want to go too hard into EA, but, uh, Rachi, Epic Game Store sucks. It's not that bad. I don't, I, I it's, it's really not that bad, in my opinion, meaning I can find a game, I can play it, it works. It works fine. The problem is, for me, is that I don't like splitting my my uh, my libraries between the two. Because, and then you, you can use a third-party launcher um, to manage all that, to manage what games you have so you don't accidentally buy it again. But then there's also, like, optimizations for Steam Deck, and I really do like my Steam Deck, and I, I do prefer to buy games for Steam. So... Uh, cool, sir. Yes. Well, I, to be fair, it's kind of fair game. If you buy a game and you can't freaking play it, it's kind of fair game to be able to pull, like find a way to play it. And I, it's another thing. Like when it comes to the games industry and um and laws, we're really behind here in America. We really need to crack down on like if we pay for something, we need to be able to own it and play it. Like meaning, if they're going to stop support, then they have to release a crack for it. That's just it. <laughs> cool sir <laughs> uh but yes um i'm not going to get into anything on that cool sir for various reasons but yes that is one of the potential options um swagger uh they reset my password for no reason apparently they always do that yeah if something's compromised i'm sure it was compromised uh swagger uh, and so they reset the password that's probably what happened Um, no, I bet games is good. Like, don't get me wrong. I think their UI needs the, to change. And they do have, from looking at their job stuff the year ago and whatnot, they are actively working on it at the Epic Games launcher. This thing. They are working on reworking. Why did it sign me out? Okay, well, whatever. It signed me out, apparently. I was going to show you guys. Um, great, great first example on that. Uh they are reworking the UI and they're improving it, but I agree. Like it's much slower than it should be. Um, funny enough, maybe they should go the route steam went. I had, wow. Okay. Steam is web-based. So the front end, the front end is web-based and it runs really well. So they might want to think about doing that. Um, Okay, so that's Dead Space 2. EA really, like, I want to have, like, potential good relationships with them with a lot of these places, but EA is one of those ones where it's just like, why? 
why do you do this stuff to make your name look so bad? Like, let's say you cut even. You make a little bit of money off this game, but you still look good. Like, don't you want your reputation to look... Like, they lose a lot of cells just because they're EA. I don't think they realize that. These big AAA companies don't realize that they lose a lot of cells because they have scorned people. They still will make money, and I don't... like. That won't stop. Boycotts don't work very well, but it still does cut money out. Um, okay, let's see here. Oh, hey. So we're, we're going to look through a couple of news items. You can guys can throw uh, me news items out either in here in chat. Let me know if there's something you want to watch. You uh, watch or I don't actually have speakers hooked up right now. My Bluetooth is broken. Uh, well, it's not broken. I'm in the middle of... I installed a new Wi-Fi card, but the Bluetooth wasn't installed properly. But, um... So, but yeah. Okay, so... A new Logitech... The Logitech G Pro X60 Lightspeed um, 60% uh, keyboard was released, um, which, honestly, I... Like... I kind of do like that they have different colors. I do wish they'd have more. It's a very slick device. Um, how much did it say it was going to release for? I can't remember. They get really comfortable with these prices. The, for $180, which is okay. Um, light speed. I think these are good keyboards. Like I like the Logitech ones that I've had. Um, I'm looking for mine. Oh, I packed it. My Keytron... Uh, K2, I think is what it is, is an is amazing one. I do have it in my description of the video of in my setup. So if you go find my setup, you can go uh, buy the Keytron that I have. I really like it. It's it's a 60% keyboard too. And it does Bluetooth wireless and has a... Uh, does it have all three? No, I'm thinking of the one I have right here. The one I have right here, which this one's awesome, this 8-bit duo, is... Um, or 8-bit duo is pretty awesome um it has bluetooth and it comes with a wireless dongle for 2.4 so it does it does everything um so yeah and it's cheaper than this <laughs> I, I i get it they're they're brand uh it's branded and everything like that i just don't get i don't i don't get the, uh, the 180 dollar freaking oh okay it does support the 2.4 uh wireless <sighs> 65 hours that's not bad but it's not great. I don't know. It, it's one of those ones. It looks cool. Um, that price, though, I think you could do better unless you're trying to really go for a certain aesthetic. That's the only time you should spend those prices. Um, okay. Um, let's see here. Cyberpunk 2077 fans shouldn't sleep on the Epic Games Store free game for al April 11th. So, once again, oops, I didn't mean to. Don't mind me. I'm just going to come over here and log in real quick. Yeah. Because I want to see if, it, if it's in here. Um, but you guys can chat if you want. Send anything out. Give me two seconds as I put this code in for my email. And then we'll get back into this. Seven, five, oh, do, 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 do. Not that it matters I say this out loud because you guys wouldn't be able to put it in. Okay, so... Real, hey, the real savage. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How you doing? Uh, Casper, for you, I prefer my AAA battery powered MIDI uh, keyboard I got from the Value Village thrift uh, store, and I have to yet to replace the batteries. Nice. I don't do wireless um, keyboards. Mine's wired. Um, 
maybe one day I will hook up my keyboard as wireless, but I just media. Yeah. Uh, I just, I, I can't do wireless keyboards. I always forget them. Like I can do uh, mice because I have a cord right here and I can always plug them in, but yeah, that's besides the point. Why are they taking so long? Whatever. Okay. So, uh, the game, let's see. Yeah. So Epic Games Store free game is Ghost Runner. Um, is Ghost Runner, which is the Cyberpunk 2077 uh, game. Let's see here. Is a separate game you should have played in 2020. So it's, let's see, it was a big year for the cyberpunk genre and video games because the hotly anticipated and long... Uh, okay, well, tell me... Is it actually Cyberpunk 20? I must have misread this when I went through it. You can hardly hear me. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Was it because it was like, was something playing? It might have been something was playing. I. Let's see if this boosts my. Uh, nope. I don't think it does. Does this, does this do it? No. I. This is. Yeah, you're just going to have to try audio, I think. Ghostwire is a good streaming game. <clears throat> is it? <laughs> That'd be one that I'd get really annoyed with. <clears throat> we are going to be playing, a, hopefully, a game this week, a game event, by the way, with Games Revealed, so keep an eye out for that. Um, there we go. Yeah, when the video is playing, yeah. I think I need to turn down the system audio. Okay, good. It's blocked, blocked. You know what? I saw this when it came out. Yeah. I remember this was released, I think, before or strategically for before Cyberpunk. I think it's funny that people are all saying that this is better than Cyberpunk when it's a very different game. Um... Very pretty game, though. All reviews, recent reviews. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so, sorry, I'm kind of... Definitely, it's going to be free tomorrow, starting tomorrow, just as a heads up, everyone. And uh, don't so don't miss out. It looks like a really fun game. It looks like a game that's going to be definitely worth playing over and over again. Um, as it, those types of games do have a lot of free playability. How long to beat is nine hours. Ooh, they now include that at Gamer Rain. That's awesome. Nine hours. Anyone made a screen. Yeah, this is an amazing game that you're going to get for free tomorrow. So don't miss out, guys. Um, Brink, are you in the poor house again? What up with a tiny gray room? What's up with the tiny? Okay, so I'm not in a great. Well, the walls are technically near white. Um, I don't have a backdrop right now. I set up in this. So I moved into this house as three bedrooms. My kids have one bedroom. I have a bedroom. Uh, me and Susie have a bedroom. That is, and then we have an office. And then we were uh, letting uh, relatives stay for a while. And then I finally got it back. Me and Susie share the office. 
And the, because the size, it's not like a small room. It's just small enough that we still haven't figured it out. And I didn't want to set up a backdrop until I figured out if this is where I'm going to be. Um, I, being in the basement, this is just maybe more than people want to hear, but being in the basement here, it was unfinished. It has a radon system to, to remove the radon as uh, there's radon in this area, like higher levels of radon. And I don't trust it. Even though I've been down there, I've just like, because I've been sick over the <laughs> over the winter, I didn't trust it. So I was like, okay, moving back up. Even though I do like it downstairs, uh, I am moving back up for just a little bit. I might move back down, but I think the podcast studio, the bare minimum will be down there. But when I'm working most of the day, I'm going to try to be up here. So not poor house. It's just annoyance of being always down in the basement, I guess. Rachie now has 400 plus epic free games. Damn, that's high. I have probably missed half to, to a third of the games. I still own a lot of the games, especially the big ones that I wanted. I, even if I don't want it, I usually get it. Um, that's getting crazy. That's that's crazy. Let's kill that. Okay. Um, the thing's cool, sir. I mean, it's just kind of a boring background. I know it doesn't make for amazing videos right now. Um, oh yes. Thank you, Wolf. Okay. Today's the end of an era, uh, which was April 8th, two days ago, marks the end of the era of Nintendo, uh, particularly when it comes to two of the company's legacy platforms. Um, I thought this was discontinued. I thought they discontinued it, uh, a couple of weeks ago, not two days ago. Monday, April 8th is the end of the era for Nintendo as the online service for both the Wii U and 3DS are shutting down after today. Many Nintendo fans have been dreading April 8th as it means that the online functionality for a certain number of games will cease to function. For some games, this means losing certain game modes for games with a heavy online focus. It means that they will effectively cease to exist and I once again think the government should get involved and force companies to at least release... Um, ways for them to be able to host it themselves. That Casper 3, the keyboard is Logitech K600. Hey, Logitech K600 is pretty good. I would not consider it like a, a thrift store buy. Um, right there. Yeah. So I, that's it, right? Or is this the TV version? It's, it's, it's one of these... I wouldn't consider it a thrift store buy. Could have the old, uh, no. I think it's about that. Um, once again, though, it's just not my style. <clears throat> um, let's see. So, yeah. are you? Who's sad here about this? I know that if, um, if, Cascoder was here. He would be bummed. I know there's a, a bunch of Nintendo uh, fanboys that follow the channel, but it's just one of those things where, as a company, I understand why you wouldn't want to support something for so long. It costs them money to keep supporting it, but um, and I'm not saying that they have to support it forever. I, I think that's, that is, just doesn't make sense. People want to not live in, in reality sometimes, but they should allow for the ability to um, host games and stuff. So, uh, we'll, we'll move on from this. It's shutting down just so you know, can't do that anymore. Um, I'm assuming you can't, I don't think you can buy games on there, those platforms anymore. Uh, the 3DS is a weird one. The Wii U is, I'm surprised they've been supporting it to this point. 3DS is a weird one though, cause it's still very much played much more, I think than Wii U. Um, this is the big one, and uh, sorry, cool sir, you had to get an RM8, so you can't do this upgrade anytime soon, but you can sacrifice your ROG ally's stylish good looks at the altar of double battery life. If that sounds delightful, iFixit has the guide for you. It even sells the 88-watt battery and has the free 3D-printed backplate you'll need. They 3D-printed themselves. That's weird. You think they could do a little more professional, like molding. You'll need, you have to replace the battery connector with the one from the ROG Ally Pack, so it's not quite plug and play. I fix it currently has 14 of the batteries in stock. The tear, uh, though, teardown tech, uh, Sarah Haram, uh, tells me they'll order more if they demand. 
if the demand's there. Ooh. Let's see what it takes to to uh, replace this. We open it up. I don't even know if I've opened up my RGL. Um, remove the plastic cover. Got to unhook this. Disconnect the battery. Detach the connector head. Most glues will melt it around. Yeah, so I have one of these now. So you have to remove the head. It must be a very specific thing you have to remove. Prepare the replacement battery. Which, okay, yeah. I mean, that's not the end of the world. These are good instructions, guys. Um... The pack does look really bad, though. Uh, do they offer the... Th I'd, th I'd rather 3D print this myself, I think, than have them do it. Because I can do a really cool purple background. Uh, back one. Ooh, maybe I should do this. How much is this? Adhesive glue. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, that's cool that they say that. Like, I'm sure they have a... Oh, they, they sell it themselves. Interesting. Um, Install the battery. The only problem is I want, okay, so here's the thing. I do this for my ROG Ally. I, don't, I really don't want to screw around with it too much because every Steam Deck that I have opened up and screwed around with too much has had issues. My last, my purple one that, you know, that I swapped out the whole case has controller issues. And I think it's because those damn con joysticks, by the way, guys, this is a little bit of a rant. Um, the, um, they're not, I fix it. What are they called? Uh, the Hall Effects. Uh, there is a gnat in here. Okay. Um, oh, but what are the, what's the brand? I can't remember the brand right now, but the joysticks that you get better precision, right? Or And they last longer. Well, uh, I think they, they're they not the best. So I'm going to swap back to the originals. And uh, But once again, I mean, that's part. Like, I make money from this channel. I will oftentimes spend that money on projects to do for it. So, but it is kind of funny that um, all my Steam decks that I screwed around with too much kind of start to have a little bit of issues. Uh, one of these days, as the parts are getting cheaper and cheaper, I do think I'll fi I'll be able to fix all of them pretty quickly. So, <laughs> I'm just I'm piling up Steam decks that are not uh, fully functional. The one I have right now, the OLED one, is works amazing. The one that Susie has that I have modified a, the goalie kit. Thank you, Wolf. The goalie kit stuff is one where I'm like, mm, I've had two Steam decks with that, and they both have had issues eventually with from the goalie kit. I think it's from the goalie kit, personally. The one that Susie has, which is the original one, the one that I got um, originally two years ago, is still running fine. She's had some hiccups. But beyond that, it's run really well, and it's been modified slightly. Meaning it's been opened up and cards of, or the SSD was swapped out. Beyond that, though, um, didn't change out the joysticks. But the two that have joysticks swapped out, one, the main board, or the, uh, the daughter boards died. And then the... Um, I think they died to a point where they... Well, they kind of got fried. And then, uh, and I was using the right goalie kits, by the way. And then this newest one I have, the, um, uh, what is it? The joysticks just don't, uh, are some of the controls, I probably is the daughter boards again. Honestly, it's probably frying the daughter boards in some weird way. So, yeah. I'm going to It's If they're not fried, they're just overwhelmed, and so I need to replace them. Your fingers are too thick, asked Susie, to perform future modifications. No, my fingers aren't doing anything. It's, the, it's, it's not that. But yeah, be careful modifying. Uh, but I want to get the... So here's the thing. Oh yeah, I don't know if people know this. The kill switch, and I'm not paid... I'm, I've only been given a kill switch. And I still bought one from them and gave it away. Uh... The, the kill switch is probably my favorite accessory for the Steam Deck. I'll be honest. Is it pricey? Yeah, but it's the one I use the most. Here's the thing that people don't realize sometimes. Um, 
more is not better. Um, qu- uh, quality is not better than quantity, or <laughs> vice versa. Quality is better than quantity in the sense of um, what are you going to get out of it? If I wasn't using my Steam Deck very often, then yeah, I'm not going to get a whole lot. But I, because I can pop the front on, and it's I, I have the cheap one. There's the $20 one that you can get. That one is not worth getting unless you really, really want to budget. Um, it's not worth getting. It, it's just not great. Um, it, it just doesn't feel good. And I know that sounds weird, but if I'm going to be sitting here playing 10 to 20 hours a week on my Steam Deck, I, I want it to feel good. Um, it has good grip. It's thick. Welcome, welcome, Foom Booter. Um, a ghoulie suit. Sweet. Like a lawsuit. I won't be doing any lawsuits. But I'm definitely not going to be recommending ghoulie kits. I honestly don't think the built-in controllers are that bad in the sense of I think they're fine. And if they wear out, they're going to wear out. Bef- they're going to wear out way after you're done with the Steam Deck. <laughs> Um, yeah, no problem from Booter. Nerdified, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, the Legion Go, okay, well, we have some news on that. Maybe we should talk about that, that kind of news up front, uh, up next. So, the Project Kill Switch is amazing, and, uh, it's just a solid case. I don't need a ca- any other case. I use my um, sling to carry as a day pack, but I can throw this into anywhere. Once the cover's on... I throw this anywhere. I have kids. I have the cover on. I can charge it anywhere. I don't feel like my Steam Deck is going to die. It literally feels so I don't I can't tell you guys how good it feels to have kids and to know that this is protected. Um any other case like like my my um ROG Ally is is really like set up somewhere, but I usually forget about it and I reach for the Steam Deck more nowadays partially because the Steam Deck is a tank now with this thing. Uh, but let's see here. Where are you? Gaming. Here we go. Oh, looks like they might be doing a Legion Go, or is it just uh, stickers? I don't know. They have the claw there too. The claw is not great. They um, it ships and <laughs> this is kind of funny. And this is I'm kind of hoping that Asus is gonna be. They're gonna be releasing a, um, a second one of these. Oh, and then look at that. It, that's a sticker, though. I think it looks a lot better like this. I know some people are going to disagree. I wouldn't get this sticker, though. Black and black. Eh. Um, yeah, I need to reserve this. So this thing right here. Wow, that, what an interesting cover that is. Why wouldn't you have the full exhaust? Oh, well. Um, is what I'm going to be getting for my uh, ROG Ally. And then... Um, I think what I'll do is I am going to get, yeah, they don't have a Legion Go one yet, but I have a feeling though with Legion Go 2, um, that they probably would make a second. And and that's, we'll get into that in a second. Legion Go 2 and Asus ROG Ally 2 are two announced systems that they have. So we'll get into that here in a second. But yeah, I would totally get those. um, If I'm going to have the device long enough, I'm going to have it. I do want to give the Legion Go a second chance, but I think I am going to wait until the Legion Go 2 is out, personally. Um, and I'll have the funds to do it by then. Uh, Foom Booter, been enjoying the Steam Deck a lot. Dude, the Steam Deck is awesome. The Steam Deck's so awesome. Uh, but yeah, Nerdified. And the thing is, I want to I want to get back into um, hardware again. I am working on my video game, and it is getting to a point where um, I'm getting a lot done on it, and I want to get some more videos done. So uh, I want to do uh, top ten things you need to know about um, Steam Deck Part Two. Top ten or top ten top ten things you need to do with your Steam Deck right away Part t- uh, Two. Top ten things you should do with your Steam Deck Part uh, Just a regular video. I'm gonna do be doing a lot of like. Um, I don't like doing the guides too much because they become outdated depending on what kind of guide it is. And I get a lot of comments and it gets, it just kind of gets really frustrating. Uh, like I've said in the past, if I do guides again, it will probably be on a different channel, like hardware reveals or something like that. But I don't, I like doing ten, a top 10 videos or doing like list videos quite a bit. I don't know if you guys like them or not, 
but I'm going to do one with Steam Deck again, where you refreshed one. I'm going to be doing um, a bunch of other new, uh, I think, good videos for, like, I want to continue to do news stuff, but I do want to get into all this stuff, like, how like, how to get started, because I do know that stuff pretty well. Um, let's see, the ROG Ally 2. Ooh. Le um, yeah, the Le so moving. let's move over to this. The Le Lenovo Legion Go 2 and Asus ROG Ally 2 are coming soon. Five things I want to see. Maybe I'll make a video on this too. Note to this, Wolf. <laughs> let's let's make a video on this, Wolf. Because um, I actually, I like, I'm not going to steal their full idea. I'm just still partial their idea, right? Um... Beef up the battery. I don't care about keeping it thin. I agree with that. Let's double that battery. Um, what is the what? Let's see. The fact there's an 88 watt battery workaround that iFix launched. It says people are laughing at how silly the growth on the back. Yeah, it is. It, it is, and it is probably done. I pump up that price by fifty dollars and add in a better battery. I think everyone would love that. Um, Windows, let's see. Windows 11 needs to be uh, to play catch up. Yeah, that's not that's not gonna that's not on ROG or uh, Ally. What they need to do is play well with Valve and get a Steam OS version out. I just don't, you know, I don't. I think we know that it's probably not gonna happen. That being said, the ROG Ally's Armory. I don't. I, I hear people crap about it. I think it's good. I like it a lot. I think it's nearly as good as using Steam OS. People will disagree with me on that. It's nearly, but it's you know it doesn't be a boot in operating system overlay. Um, that's essentially what Steam OS is. The game mode is just it's a booted in different UI than what because um, you can boot in desktop mode, which just uses um, what do they use again? Because with Linux, they have different desktop types that you can use that are UI. You can think of them as UI layers. So you have the underlying Linux that's running, and then what's on top of it is the UI. And so they have a couple of things uh, UI-wise for, yeah, we don't need to get into that. But yeah, Windows needs to play catch-up. I think Windows, I think Microsoft is more and more thinking about that, but I'm also more and more scared sketchy like i'm more i don't know about you guys chat if you're are you guys um kind of sketched out or like i don't mind windows 11 but i'm really weirded out by what microsoft's going to be doing with windows 12 uh, 13 all that like if they're going to go subscription based and all um I, I don't know like it sounds like they're playing around with certain subscription stuff and i just don't like office 30 30 65 like who i don't need that i don't like that um i honestly i'd rather pay up front price of like i already do I, I guess when you build a windows machine you're paying up front unless you're buying so they're always making their money i don't like subscriptions though i and there's only subscriptions only make sense for some stuff and i think operating system doesn't quite yeah windows subscription would be nasty um this is why i've been getting more mac stuff lately because their hardware is premium and you buy their hardware which is good and everything else is baked into the price. Who knows? Apple might go a subscription route at 1.2. I don't know. Foom Booter, I'm weirded out by Microsoft's appeal. Like their appeal, like as in their visuals. I think the Windows 11 is fine. Um, I think uh, some parts of it definitely could be better. Um, I don't have, honestly, I think Windows and Mac both have their issues. Ooh, welcome, welcome, Sci uh, Sociology of YouTube, Soy. How you doing? Um, yeah, so gi uh, give me o OLED. Yeah, I, once again, not a, not the top of my list. Uh, it's a nice to have, but I definitely think... Uh-oh. Are you guys still there? Hopefully I'm not dropping frames. I might be dropping frames. Nope. The advertisements, I think. <laughs> it's, it's, you, <laughs> the browser's gonna crash. 
Oh, damn. <laughs> it's okay. The browser is potentially going to crash. This is, this is so stupid. Um, honestly, I, I, I probably will. I wouldn't. I might go. I might start using a different browser. This is ridiculous. Ad, the ads thing. I don't care about ads. Like, I just... I wish there was a streaming mode. I'm like, I'm streaming. I don't want ads popping up for bras or whatever it is that I shop for. Obvious, honest, you know, obviously that's what I'm shopping for. Um, <laughs> I don't want, I just don't want, it's distraction and stuff like that. I don't mind ads any other time as long as you're not killing me. But yeah, too many, that's not even that many tags. I've restarted recently. Uh, soy, doing well things. Uh, doing well, it appears. Me, me, me doing well. I'm doing well. And I'm glad you're doing well, Sway. Uh, lol, no brink. It's food related. Oh. Appeal? Like, as in, like... Now now you're making me hungry, and now I'm hungry. I had okonomiyaki, which is like these... Uh, we don't need to get into it. But it was tasty. I had okonomiyaki for dinner. But now I'm hungry. Improve the thermal management. I don't think the thermals are that bad, were they? Uh, our time with the Len Lenovo Legion Go revealed some big hotspots. Uh, yeah, Le Legion Go definitely needs it. And even the less powerful Steam Deck breaks a sweat easily. Some of this is um, inevitability packing PC tier internals into something touch larger than Nintendo Switch OLED is going to be technical challenges similar to trying to cool down the surface of the sun. I don't I honestly I've never had too many issues like if you're if it's burning you then I think you have sensitive skin and that's not to be mean or anything like that but if if you get burnt by your gaming device like this um I've played with all three of them I've never come close to getting burnt it gets a little toasty it's not comfortable to touch it uh yeah well if I have been liking uh, Oprah uh, Oprah opera <laughs> But uh, I haven't used it in like a month because uh, it was having some issues. Plus, I need to disable the. I, I went too hard with the mods, and it made it make so many noises that I couldn't. I couldn't realistically use it while I was working and doing stuff. Because then I'd get a call someone, and then I'd start typing, and it's like because I have like dead space noises going on. And once again, people don't want to hear dead space noises when I'm working. Um. Yeah, so once again, thermals, sure, we always want to improve thermals. Uh, please just give us a case. That's another one where uh, that's going to not happen. Um, this is a very silly guide right here. I could think of much better things to request than what they requested. But once again, I'm not here to dump on someone's uh, wish list. It's not bad. It's just uh, <laughs> definitely with the Legion Go. I'll do two separate videos on those because I think that'll be fun. Okay, so while I did enjoy the article, I don't mean to be such a pessimist. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we don't have any new information on the ROG Ally 2, I don't think. How about the Legion Go 2? I know we do have some information on this. The Lenovo Legion Go 2 confirmed when will it launch. The next generation of the Legion Go is on its way. Praise for, uh, yeah, it has a great screen. Um, it's just the controllers were very disappointing in a lot of ways. Um, I'm glad they made it, though. Everything we know about the Legion Go uh, 2 is pretty evident that the company is still investing heavily in the technology, which is good, which is good. Honestly, it wouldn't take much for them to improve it to be what I want it to be. Largely made, it seems like that the sequel console could be launching as early as 2024. Yeah, so I'm ROG Ally, like that the sneak peek from India's or some like event that was in India is pretty much like guarantee an ROG Ally 2 in 2024. Legion Go 2, though, in 2024 seems a little suspect, I'll be honest. Um, I don't, I don't want to comment on that name. I'm sure it's a foreign name, but Momo sounds funny. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, I ROG Ally 2 will be this year. I think, like, and I've mentioned this multiple times, I think they're going to be doing nearly yearly releases. I bet you it's going to happen 
uh, one, one, two, one, one, two kind of style. So every, um, every year there's a new release. And then after two releases, they'll just skip a year and then they'll do a release. I have a feeling that they'll, they'll go something along those lines. And I say that because people, it is handheld gaming device is a little weird, but if the tech keeps up, so if our AMD and let's, I know Nvidia wants to get into it, keeps up. Um, these devices, as um, as more and more get built, and uh, and these main boards, daughter boards, and and these boards get built out too, and become more common. Um, I think the manufacturers over in China and whatnot, and uh, wherever else is manufactured, Taiwan maybe, um, they're going to get more used to it. So our costs will go down, and it will be more reasonable for them to just refresh it every year with just some better hardware, a little bit of improvements here and there. Um, that, that's it, I, I think. And me personally, like I have played games on a lot of different devices, but when it comes to certain games, I, I just like it on the Steam Deck or OG Ally. Like, like it beats just hooking up my consoles to the TV, um, dealing with the kids. It's just nice to relax in a very comfy chair and just play my game right there. Um, sometimes, and I have a big TV, like I have a big screen TV that I could be playing on, but some games I just don't care about it being, uh, on the tablet it's a, or on the, my, uh, Steam Deck. I think some people are a little, a little too extreme, but yeah. Now, if I could get into the point where I could plug it in and not have to worry about, um, that's my dream. I'm hoping that the Steam Deck 2 is just powerful enough to run new games that are coming out and, uh, plug in. Raychi, just sell a good gamepad with a Windows tablet. Um, yeah, there's good gamepads out there with tablets. I, Windows tablet, though, I have yet to see like a good Windows gaming tablet. I think there's there's one coming out now that's going to have same specs, but ta- I've yet to have a good gaming tablet on Windows. Now, Mac, on the other hand, or iPad OS and, and, uh, and iOS iPad OS and iOS um, are have pretty good games with good game pad support. Same with Android, but Windows tablet, meh, not really my my thing. But I agree with you, Rachie. I, I like I agree with your um, concept on on this. It's just it starts to bridge into the laptop route, and I'm just like, why not just have a laptop? Why not get a laptop, get a gamepad for it? It sets up fine and everything, and I don't know. It's the balance. It's the balance I'm trying to make right now. I have my MacBook for work I and for various other things. I have my main PC for everything, like for me, me, uh, my main gaming setup and game development. Um, and then I have my uh, handheld, which I don't have my Steam Deck right here, but my Steam Deck for on the go when I'm not here. I even have a PlayStation 5. I have not played it in a while. One of these days, I will. Uh, Wolf, I did... Okay, I will come back to Wolf's comment here. I did shit, did shit on, on uh, Oprah. Opera. I always want to say Oprah. It's because I want something to be under my my seat that I, it's free. Um, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire exclusive in theaters. Cheetos. Honestly, that sounds awesome. Um, I'm, I am a gimmicky person though. I, I dig this type of stuff. <laughs> it's easy to sell me on stuff. Chad, my armory crate on my PC shows it's, uh, collabing with Opera GX. Uh, GX. Yes, it is. Uh, I think they have a, co- uh, cooperate, uh, a collaboration going on. Um, nerdified. I was hoping that they would continue to focus on the first generation of devices and then creating new ones kind of like Steam Deck. So they'll, so Here's how it will probably work. They will continue working on the software. This, they don't. They don't have any control over Windows per se, except beyond drivers, making good drivers. Um, but I don't think the drivers for ROG Ally are the problem with Windows 11. It's Windows 11 just not supporting a good game mode, right? But they're supporting the Armory. So if they continue building out Armory, it doesn't matter if you have the first or second one. I think the Steam Deck's making a, like kind of a mistake. I think Valve is. Um, they even came out with a second one. They have Steam Deck One, Steam Deck OLED, and they are the the hardware is very just a little bit, but I think they're making a mistake. They can they can if Steam Deck Two came out with a, a faster APU, 
um, they can still support it. And it, like if, if they're making fixes to SteamOS, those are going to be backported. Um, I don't think people understand um, how some of the software stuff works. If you're releasing updates for SteamOS, it will work for both. Hardware specifics can play into a factor in, into this. Um, let's say some operating systems need to be modified or improved to work on new hardware. But that's um, if you have good architecture and because AMD is so similar, then it doesn't matter as much. If the AMD architecture is, sim is, this, is the same, uh, is, is similar. So good if they, from the they're gonna jump from AMD's Godot over to the new uh, Phoenix or Little Phoenix or something like that uh, potentially. Um, the architecture is not gonna be a huge jump, meaning you're not gonna expect a lot of bugs coming just from a GP or an APU change. Your bugs are still gonna be relatively shared. Um, the only thing is Steam Deck approved will become a little bit more complicated, but you're just going to have to handle that at one point. So, um, yeah. With these other devices, Legion Go and the ROG Ally, I, the Legion Go has a lot of software it needs to update it for sure. And they could have just also rushed out the hardware that some of the hardware needs to be updated. Like, I don't think the ROG Ally, or the uh, Legion Go is very comfortable. And I mentioned that in my review. I didn't like it. Um longevity wise like I didn't like it for a long periods of time and it was getting to a point where I'm like I would I was reaching for my OLED over the Legion Go for the Steam Deck OLED and my new my favorite device right now is the Legion Go or not the Legion Go Steam Deck then it's the ROG Ally I, I quite like the ROG Ally for games that won't run for that won't <coughs> excuse me that won't run on the Steam Deck or don't run well the ROG Ally runs fairly decent typically um, Rachie, I tried a cheap AliExpress $17 gamepad for my 12 inch tablet and it's better than, uh, it's better than, man, that thing, better than the Steam Deck. Is it though? I don't know, man. I like the Steam Deck's, uh, system, but I, I okay, I've, okay, I've had cheap, cheap stuff, I don't know. <sighs> I'm not usually one to buy a $200 controller. I'm not usually one to buy a cheap one anymore. I'm usually, oh, comfort-wise, yeah, I could see that. But I like the Steam Decks. I think the Steam Deck is more comfortable than traditional controllers at times, depending on what you're doing. I like the layout of the Steam Deck now. <laughs> I have bigger hands and fat fingers, but I definitely like the Steam Deck a lot when it comes to that. But, like, I think... This is like the perfect controller. You just buy it and it lasts for a good long while. Um, and it hooks up with everything. It does well. Um, that being said, I am going to be trying a backbone for the iPhone and also an iPad. But yeah. Uh, Nerdified, I thought the RJ Ally felt cheap in the hands. Also cramped. Legion Go is comfortable with bigger grips. Um, yeah, Nerdified, I agree with the RJ Ally is a little bit cramped. I agree. They both have their issues with longevity, like holding. Maybe this is only happening to me. I have fat, stubby fingers. I have big, I don't have like a massive hand, but I have a, a big hand with uh, sausages, apparently. Inherited, I uh, inherited sausage fingers. And um, I don't know. Holding the Legion Go was for like two hours was very uncomfortable after a while. Like in the left marks on my hand, as opposed to the um, ROG Ally, it didn't do that, but it did. It made my fingers feel cramped, right? So, I would not say both are great, uh, and they both also have issues with battery life, so they're not going to last too long. Uh, but if I was, I had to choose one or the other, and I just, I also need to return Legion Go, um, but partially because it was, it was having some issues towards the end. Um, or, yeah, depending on just drop some of the tests. But uh, I found that I had to screw around with the Legion Go a lot more for it to work on games than the Ally. And it could have been my Legion Go, and I know I've mentioned that multiple times. I don't, I'm not, I don't ever want to crap on the Legion Go in the sense of, like, don't think you should do it. 
do fi- do cool or do finger push ups. That's my problem. I do finger push ups, and now I have I have muscular fingers now. I can't wait to see what Nintendo will drop. Yeah, Nintendo's oh, um, in the Switch Two will be interesting too. I agree with that, Nerdified. So, yeah, everything we know about the Legion Go Two, it's pretty evident that the company is still investing. Ah, uh, I'm curious. Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, there's just it's just rumors right now, which I th- you know. I think yearly updates is about what you're going to expect to two years. You're going to expect between one to two. You, I would not, like, it'd be a little silly unless they were trying a different architecture. Because they could do a Legion Go 2 with, uh, like, Intel's Arc, which is not doing great. The MSI Cloud isn't doing overly great. Yeah, it's a big flop. Um, partially because MSI, like, Intel's not really good. Like, Intel is eventually going to fade away. They have the edge with um, gaming and, like, CPUs, which AMD is catching up to. And high-end CPUs, they have the edge. But they're not innovating much. It's not a stock that I would potentially... I, I'd have to look into that. It's not a stock I'd buy into. AMD and, and NVIDIA, I would. NVIDIA's hit $2 trillion valuation, which is ridiculous. Oh, it's so ridiculous, and I don't even want to get into that because there's uh, reasons why that I think are anti-consumer. But um, okay, so <laughs> let's. Oh my gosh, the ads on that. <sighs> I'm looking for the next thing we're going to talk about. Oh, that is interesting. Modder turns rare PS1 controller into a fully functional handheld PlayStation. It, it's got to be modded, right? It's just a modded PC, like Raspberry Pi or something. That's cool. While handheld gaming devices have been resurgence in recent years, thanks to devices like the Analog Pocket and Steam Deck, the modding community never ceases to amaze with their unique creations. One modder in particular has recently transformed a rare PS1, like, uh, that's so weird, PS1 controller into a pocket-sized PlayStation handheld. Uh, as reported by the Tech Spot, modder um, High Heist SB posted about his functional PlayStation handheld. How did he do it? He used a Takara uh, Roulette controller, a rare officially licensed PlayStation controller released in the early 2000s. It was a functional and had a colorful spinner smacked into the top center of the peripheral. Uh, Yeah. Uh, As you can see with the images below, Sato has made it into a uh, contemporary, contemporary device. Wow. Uh, swapping the spinner with a small LSD uh, display and adding an L and yeah okay and then yeah so it's using wait what's the innards though it has USB C charging which is awesome via a PS one emulator yeah so it's like it's a little cheaty but it's kind of cool what was used though. I'm kind of curious. Is it a Raspberry Pi? He doesn't even open it. I'm assuming something along the lines of a Raspberry Pi. Um, Nerdified. Uh, Swagger. I can't wait for the Xbox handheld. Hopefully they add a physical version. Oh, a physical version of an Xbox handheld. I highly doubt that. So, um, not to burst your bubble, but yes, I Xbox is working on prototypes. We'll see if they actually come out with an Xbox handheld. Uh, they could end up canceling it. Um, yeah, uh, so here's the thing. They're already benefiting from uh, MSI, Lenovo, uh, Asus, and all that f- developing their own handhelds for windows right um they use x it will use like it supports xbox 
a lot of them come with Xbox streaming um, subscriptions. And they, uh, so I, beyond that, if they do, I think they, 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 I think they've prototyped it. I think any major company's prototype making handhelds. It would be digital only. They're going to digital only format right now. Um, it, like, that's their game plan. I think PlayStation and Xbox game plan is to phase out physical media in the next 10 years. Um, whether you like it or not, it's not my choice. I tend to do more digital anyways, more and more. If it's console, I do try to buy the, the physical. But I've gotten so used to digital that they could probably switch over and I'd be fine as long as they give me a big hard drive. And that's, the, I think, the biggest problem is if they want to phase it over from hardware. Sorry, my nose is itchy. Um, if they want to move it over from uh, hardware, like from discs and whatnot, and cartridges they're gonna need to give you a buttload of memory so we'll see um <sighs> quotes are cheese <geez. laughs> uh nerdified yeah uh i definitely don't want us to go too far into that um i can't recommend anything but it's not technically hard to find uh swagera phil spencer really likes the steam deck i'm sure they will make one well, yeah, whether Phil Spencer likes it or not um, doesn't guarantee that they're going to have one. They're, they're prototyping one, I'm sure, but I'm sure they that it will be interesting. I don't. I, I think there's a 50% chance they'll make a Steam or a, an Xbox handheld. Um, I think it would be smart. I think it would be smart to start working on one that's as powerful as the Xbox Series S, personally. They already kind of made the mistake that they have to support it kind of thing. And so it's like, you can, the Xbox Series S, I bet you if you worked hard enough, you can get that power into a handheld. Um, okay, well, if I'll look into that. We need the Steam OS for the other handhelds. I agree. Nerdified, uh, I, Valve is working on it. They're just working on their own. They, they, they're trying to work on quality improvements for SteamOS right now, and so they're just not as interested in releasing it for other consoles, which is really frustrating and honestly is what would – it's what I want. Um, let's see here. Oh, my gosh. What? Wolf? Okay, I, I vetted some of these. We're getting in, into the news items Wolf gave me that I've not vetted yet. Meaning you get to see what I, I think done with the Apple Watch. Yes, that's an Apple Watch. <laughs> I I mean, okay, I can, I I have the smaller band, so I don't know if I can do it. But let me mod my, let me mod my controller real quick. Hold up. Okay, guys, I did it. I did it. I modded my uh, my controller now. It has been modded. Now all I need to do is do whatever they did to get a game on there and uh, pair. I don't even know. Does my watch? Yeah, my watch has Bluetooth. So my watch has Bluetooth. My watch actually has, um, because of the deals going on, has LTE. Um, I can't remember if it's 4G or 5G internet access. Meaning if I leave my phone here, I can make calls and access the internet from my watch. Um, yeah, I use the service provider I use <clears throat> and, uh, the watch I got all good deals on. So yeah, this is hilarious. I love this wolf. Thank you for sharing this with us. This is awesome. So, uh, I know it's, it's not as silly. Like this is, I mean, <sighs> I feel like this is bending. Oh, wait, hold up. It, back over this is bending over a little bit but when i had it on mine i could have it raised higher and it'd be fine so mine was working fine i think he's got the expensive apple watch so that could be his problem uh editor has paired up an android running apple watch android running apple watch ultra clone with a gaming is this oh is this a clone android flagships are more than enough for most gaming needs, but some of us yearn for more. You can go down the gaming phone route to get phone specialized for in gaming or pair 
your phone with a game controller for more engagement. Okay, okay, okay. Strapped an Android-based smartwatch, an Apple Watch Ultra clone that runs full Android and not a Wear OS. What? Okay. Is this just the Reddit's user? Oh, here we go. <laughs> what do you guys think of this? This is, this is kind of cool. It's silly, but cool. That is... <laughs> Oh, I mean, it's the easiest hack ever. <laughs> Dude, that watch is is special. Okay, I mean, for games like that, it's not too bad, but it's so small. You'll play once human mobile on that. I don't think it will run. I, I think this can run emulators maybe. Like, obviously, we're seeing it. It is not going to be running anything else. Oh, that's good. I like that. That is really good. Um. Okay, we're getting into the stuff we've already got. Okay, cool. That's, that's good, Wolf. Okay, guys. We're getting to the end of today. So, as far as updates on everything... Um, I'm getting more and more into, like, I have some videos recorded. I just need to edit them and release them this week. I have, um, I will be doing some, um, I'm working with Wolf to get the podcast started back up. Um, Susie likes to do it, but uh, we'll see if she wants to do it much more in the future. Um, so that's one of the reasons why we haven't been doing the podcast lately, but the podcast will be, I don't want to say rebooted, but it's going to be restarted back up. And so um, I'm going to work with someone to try to find uh, guests. And so it will be more guest based. Uh, maybe if I miss a week, I'll have like a special rotating uh, group I go through, like uh, a cast coder if he wants to get back into it, which I did talk to him about. Um, but I'll have I'll have like a, 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 a common cast to bring in. Um, what I'm not doing interview like and I do plan on doing some game dev interviews meaning if a new like especially geared towards indie I want to talk to an interview game developers and that will probably haven't decided if it's going to go on to games revealed or games game dev revealed yet um but um yeah so keep an eye out for all that um let's see here See, the brink on the news, there's a dam in your area that is collapsing. Yes, cool, sir, there is. <laughs> I guess we could, like, <laughs> yes, there is. It's Pingwich Lake. Uh, let's see here. Give me one like, a sec. I don't want to give away anything where I'm at. I live fully. Pingwich Lake. Yeah, okay, so here's a little bit of a personal thing, I guess, at the end. Since cool, sir, had this. Yeah, there's uh, Pingwich Lake. They have an evacuation notice. They're on, uh, I think they're on, I don't know which way they're going, but it's like on a severe, it's like a severe level, but level two emergency situation. Um, Pingwidge Lake is right. Here. So yeah, there's the reservoir. Pingwidge is right over here. Pingwidge is, you could, yeah. Bryce Canyon National Park. Yeah. And then you have Pingwidge right above it. Um, Parowan. So it's in Southern Utah, kind of where I'm from. And yeah, I've been around here. It's crazy. Um, yeah, I love how you spelled "damn." <laughs> it's in the play, like "damn you." Uh, that's funny, cool sir, because I did the same thing when I was texting my parents. Because <laughs> uh, I would never, I really never say "damn." Uh, I like the, the the thing that dams up, but yeah, we don't need to go too far into this, but our infrastructure is falling apart in the U S and we need to actually get some infrastructure stuff passed and actually fix our infrastructure. Okay. So, so back to my update. Um, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll update you guys on the dam later if it does collapse, which is going to really suck if it does. Um, so yeah, we'll be getting, uh, I think the newsletter back up and going, we're going to be getting 
the podcast back up and going. Um, I th- going to be getting uh, videos that back up and going. Um, I'm working on all that and the dev rebuild project back up and going. I'm getting good progress on my video game and I'm feeling confident that I can at least start managing some of the stuff with other people's help. So as long as I have people's help on all this, uh, expect more to come, especially if you've been a member. Thank you for being a Games Rebuild member if you're still a member. Um, I'm going to definitely try to spice up that pot. Also, I will be promoting it heavily. Um, News items that are reported are going to go into a pool. And I'm not going to do anything special so that I make sure I get this done. It will be done. There'll be a a game really... So every week, there'll be two games to choose from if you win the pot. So if you really... If you give any... Uh, news into one of the news channels. It's going to be into one of the news channels. It's going to, and that news is uh, the newer and fresher the better. So uh, I can be aware of things because I'm not great at, at following everything. There'll be giveaways though, and we're going to start to do this soon. Um, you heading out, Rachie? I'm not. I'm not quite done yet, but yeah. Um. So expect that. So those giveaways will be to people that are just helping by, uh, you guys already do a great job of telling me about what's going on. And then I will give commentary. I'll also add it to newsletters. I'll do a bunch of other stuff. Um, I'm about to, I'm about to head out though, Rachie. I'm about to head up. Um, and so there's that. And then also, um, I'm going to be, um, I'm going to try to make sure that, like, I, it, it, everything's manageable because you know me. Like, if you don't know, in the past, I've been on and off ADHD medicine, and I wouldn't mind to find a balance there with it, but it's caused – I'm not I'm, – I'm a sporadic person sometimes. I like to try things. I like to do a lot of things. I've tried a lot of things in the past year and a half. I kind of know what works, what kind of what you guys want, so I'm going to get back into the flow of kind of what you guys want and kind of what um and hopefully steer away from some of the stuff some stuff i like to do i might do just because i like to do other things i want to do because people want me to do it so uh, things will will be going back to a little bit more of a normal pace so um yeah so let's see oh the okay uh okay zoo zoe a2 Ultra Gaming handheld with Intel Core Ultra 7 CPU to launch on April 14th, certified. Unfortunately, it is the Intel Core uh, Core Ultra 7, so unfortunately, oof. Okay, with that, thank you guys for watching. I think we're at the tail end of this. Any other major updates, which I want to make sure that I'm actually doing it, so like with the newsletter, website, and everything else, as long as I'm getting it all done, I will update again. I don't want to get, I, I kind of do it at the end because I know that you're the more, you know, you guys really like me because you stayed till the end. Um, I'm working through stuff, of course. And so once I'm more consistent, then I'll be blasting it everywhere and you'll you'll know again. Um, but I am working on and have been working on in the behind the scenes on all the stuff to get back into a good flow. I will be out for two weeks, um, but I will try really hard this time, even though I've said it in the past, to have pre-recorded um, streams. Like meaning they're not streams, but they're pre-recorded, and I'll try to be there. Um, but yeah, okay. Hurry up and put your life jacket on. Floaters on the kids. Yeah, well, I'm not in Southern Utah, Quilter, so I should be good. Uh, it should be good. Um, the only thing we have is just lakes that aren't dammed up up here i think for the most well that's not necessarily true yeah okay there is a dam that's actually a provo canyon but that's besides the point okay thank you guys for watching uh please join us in discord um we are starting to chat more and more in there and we are going to be doing some more games like we are going to be playing a new game this week we still need to set it up, and so, Wolf, we should get back into, like, setting those up for almost weekly events. So, thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys later. Peace out. Later.